Hey y'all, Greg Treziak here with Pragmatic Works bringing you another quick YouTube video on universal design tips and tricks uh, to really up your report game and make your reports much more accessible. Today we're gonna be talking about alt text. It is a not well-known feature unless you utilize it, but it is essential to make your reports more universally designed. Let's get into it. So. Alt text. Alt text is an alternative disc text description. And mostly it is going to be used to describe the appearance and function of visuals within your reports. Any images can also have alt text. And if an individual is using a screen reader, they are going to be able to get a additional description from you of what's going on in that particular image or report visual. So how do we get there? In the visualizations pane, you're going to select format your visual, scroll to the bottom. That's typically where it is. It depends on your preview settings where that might be a little bit. And you can expand alt text and fill in the description. An alt text box has a limit of 250 characters. So that is one kind of restraint to think of. So this could be any description that is gonna be read by that screen reader. What are our screen readers? There are a whole host of screen readers. A screen reader, and there are different ones that are available. Windows has a built-in narrator. There is JAWS, which is Job Access with Speech. There's NVDA. There's a, quite a few that can be utilized. That is essentially, for those that are visually impaired, going to read what is going on in that particular visual. Now, if an individual is using a screen reader, it's actually gonna go through as they may tab navigate or navigate through the report. Those individuals are gonna have descriptions read to them. One example would be if you're in the Power Query Editor with a screen reader, it actually can read through what is in the rows. It might say animal name, Gunther, uh, row one and then proceed from there or as you navigate piece by piece it will read that through but we particularly need it for our visualizations especially if someone is uh, vision impaired so an example here would be let's take a look at this right here so this is the taxes paid by country in during each fiscal year all text really should include insight that you want the report consumer to take away from the visual. Because a screen reader is reading out loud, the title and some of the other uh, header information you might have, you really just need to fill in a proper description. So the question is, how do we use this feature? You may not have used it. I'm going to show you a couple extra tips and tricks to make all text a part of your report design. Let's jump into it. So I'm going to move out of the slides here and into an actual Power BI report. So in this report, let's take a peek. I'm gonna bounce out for a second here. You can see I've just got a base report. It's my universal design report. If you haven't checked out that class, we have tips and tricks like this and many, many more you definitely need to check out. But one thing I wanna point out is let's take a look at maybe an alt text for this line chart right here. So I'm gonna to go to this line chart right here and what I want to do is actually navigate to the format this visual. It's going to be this paintbrush right over here. I'm going to go ahead and format this. And what I want to do is I want to find alt text. And one thing I might need to do is switch over to properties here. And right towards the bottom here, we've got alt text, alternative text description. And I'm going to open that up right here. And this is where I can go ahead and enter a description that's gonna be read by a screen reader on selecting or tab navigating to the visual. So I could go ahead and write a description here. Definitely a ton of different things you could do. I often try to put the main description and any particular insights. And the one thing I'll mention here is maybe you know at this stage in development in your project, you are not going to be bringing this out to anyone that is using that screen reader. 
my pro tips, my Pragmatic Quirk pro tips for you is use alt text to keep your own notes at first. And that is also a reminder for you as this report goes out to distribution to make sure you provide an alternative text description. It also helps users that are using that screen reader. So if you know you're not distributing yet and you just want to have a little kind of note spot, you can have that here and then it'll remind you to go ahead and actually provide an alternative text description. So what would an our, our alt text description kind of be here? Well, we could go and say, hey, you know what? This line chart is describing the trend between female dogs, blue, and male dogs in red from 1990 to, and really it ends there about 2021. And we can add on piece by piece there and include additional descriptions. The one thing I'll also mention that comes quite in handy here, and you'll see that, is it's going to be right above here is that conditional formatting line. You also could go in here and add a alternative description based on conditional formatting. So you can apply your conditional formatting rules to what that actual description is going to be. This is where it starts to get super, super dynamic. So if some threshold is met, you can make sure a different description is utilized. So you have full functionality here, definitely something you need to be including. One other thing about alternative text and screen readers, and that's how is that alternative text going to be read. If we went through all this time, we've gone through, we've made an alternative, alternative text description, how is it going to be read? And that actually is a part that you may be familiar with if you've done any prior report design, but something you may not. So let's actually take a look. This is gonna be under the View tab up at the top here. So we're gonna to navigate to the View tab, and you're gonna see, like, you know, you may be accustomed to, there's data, format, bookmark, syncing, selection, all those great things here, but we wanna actually go ahead and put on selection. And what you'll see here in selection is going to be the layer order. You may have used that in report design because layer order is where they are layered what is on top of another when it comes to visualizations. But the thing that we care about is actually the tab order. So if a user is utilizing that screen reader or they're tab navigating through these items, a screen reader will adjust as someone is in that view as they uh, go through the report. But more than likely, you may have someone also using tab level navigations to cycle through. So as they navigate through report, report level to uh, report visual to report level or visual to visual with that screen reader, it's gonna read out pretty much in that tab order. So you can see here, if I go over to tab order, I'm gonna head over there right now. If I go over to tab order here, I could see that this visual is gonna go first, then the slicer, then the matrix, and then the line chart followed by this uh, bar chart at the end. And that's really not the most efficient way because we would want this to also have good data storytelling. We want our users to navigate with their keyboards, with their screen reader, which will jump as someone navigates through the visuals to follow a general flow and format. So what we should do is also change this tab order and have a good data storytelling. So here's what we'll do. Let's make sure that this visual up in this top left corner is probably my most important. Let's make sure that's first up on tab order. Next up would be this line chart. Let's make sure that's number two. Number three down here, that looks good. Then maybe my matrix instead of the slicer. And you can see here, if someone was to tab navigate, and I'll actually do that here by pressing tab, I'm gonna press tab here, and now what I can do is continue to do that, and as I press tab, which could be in, 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 in conjunction with a screen reader, I'm actually going through a proper data storytelling uh, flow, the same as my users that are not using tab level navigations or a screen reader 
are going to use. So now I've made a much more universally designed report by just two quick, two quick tricks, alt text and affecting the tab order right then and there. Now, we have a whole much, much more insight and tips and tricks in our universal design class here at Pragmatic Works. I really do hope you check it out. But if not, these quick tips in this YouTube series are a great way to quickly make your reports much more accessible. And as we know in Universal Design, a report that is designed for everybody is going to be much better overall. It's been Greg here with Pragmatic Works. I'll see y'all in the next one.